Welcome back to Frozen Farms, guys. Today, we're going to show you how to go from this to this. So there's definitely going to be a, a few things that you're going to need. Uh, first of all, you're going to need some good soil. We've been using the Roots Organic Microgreen Soil, which has worked awesome for us. Uh, that's a nice, light, merry soil. The next thing that we have kind of on deck uh, for using is the Fox Farms Coco Loco. Uh, which also looks like pretty good soil for microgreens. You're gonna need some trays. Uh, you can just use the standard 1020 trays that you'll find like at Home Depot and, and uh, Lowe's and you know garden supply stores and stuff like that, um, which you can also find online uh, from Bootstrap, Bootstrap Farmer, uh, which is an awesome supplier. Uh, we've got a lot of good stuff from them. So you can just use the standard 1020 trays with no holes like that or you can get the 1020 trays that have holes that sit into the ones that don't have any holes. We decided to go that route after the first grow and we bought them from Bootstrap Farmer uh, and Bootstrap Farmer is just awesome. So we have really good luck with those guys. They have really, really good stuff. Super heavy duty trays. So you got your soil, you got your trays, and then you need some seeds. We've been getting uh, the bulk of our seeds from True Leaf. Uh, which is really good, had really good luck with those guys. So definitely recommend them. Two places that we've been buying from are Bootstrap Farmer and True Leaf, both of which are pretty awesome. So the only other things you're gonna need are some water, about 16 ounces to start with, and then also you're gonna want a spray bottle to uh, keep the seeds damp as they're starting to germinate. All right, so that's kind of the stuff that you're gonna need, so let's dive in. All right, let's go with this grow here. Let's get things started. Uh, so I have here my tray. This is the bottom water style tray. This one has no holes. And then what you do is you take the one with holes and just fit it in there like that. So super easy. And then when you're gonna water it, just lift it up, put water right in the tray, tray back down and off you go. So that's all there is to using these trays. All right, so first of all, we're gonna need some water. So we're gonna take the water, and this is about 16 ounces, about two cups, and you're just going to pour this into the bottom water tray, like the bottom tray with no holes. So there you go, that's all the water that you need initially to start with. All right, let's get some soil going. All right, here's our soil. Uh, this is the Roots Organics microgreen soil. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in about eight handfuls of soil to this uh, top tray. So, here we go. All right, so we've got about eight handfuls of soil in here, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of smooth this out over the whole tray. Uh, just kind of try to make it even and not piled up in one area uh, versus another, kind of like even it out to the edges and so forth. One thing I really like about this soil uh, is just how light it is. Um, it's super airy and uh, has just worked really, really well for us. Uh, so once we use up this bag, um, our local hydroponics store was kind enough to provide us with a sample of this. Um, so once we use up this bag, we're gonna switch over to the Coco Loco um, and use that up. So we'll eventually probably special order some more of the um, the uh, Roots Organic Microgreen. Okay guys, we got the soil evened out and I kind of like pat it down a little bit just to kind of make it firm. Um, there's definitely some easier ways to do this, you know. You can like basically uh, build a little soil presser out of a board and just kind of press it down with that uh, if you wanted to. Uh, totally cool, a little bit uh, quicker than the way I'm doing it right now. Uh, so then the, the next thing is uh, we need some seeds. All right, there we go, we got our seeds. Uh, these are radish. I uh, love growing radish, this is awesome. This is about two ounces of seeds. Uh, this is a pretty cool mug because it's got a bunch of different measurements on here. The Big Shot measuring glass is what this is. You can see it, Big Shot. So anyways, um, <clears throat> you're gonna use kind of different quantities of seeds depending on how big they are. The peas and wheatgrass, I've been going with about eight ounces and you soak those. Uh, you would soak the peas for about 
four hours and wheatgrass for about eight hours. I just soak them in a mason jar. Uh, the other two microgreens I've been growing are the radish or the kale. Uh, radish I've been using about two ounces of seed and kale about an ounce because kale ends up getting so thick. Uh, so all we do at this point is we just kind of evenly sprinkle the seeds uh, on top of the dirt. All right, we got our seeds evenly distributed here. I'll tilt it up a little bit so you guys can see that. So let's try to get it as even as possible. I try to get it up to the edge. Uh, with the bigger seeds, like the peas and wheatgrass, I end up kind of moving them around because they pile up and I just kind of try to even them out. Uh, these just don't go down real nice and, and pretty even. So the last thing we need to do is to get some water and uh, just lightly mist uh, our seeds. So let's go get uh, our mister filled up with water. All right, there's our mister, guys. This is uh, my handy dandy Home Depot HDX uh, little spray bottle. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna kinda spray water on top of the seeds to get the top of the soil wet. You don't want like standing water on there, uh, but you want the water or the soil to be uh, kinda damp. Uh, so that helps with the germination. All right, we got all mess it up again. Uh, like I said, guys, we don't want the, any standing water on there, but you want the soil to be damp on top too to help the germination. And then really the last thing um, is we just need to cover this up. So I'll grab another 1020 tray and we'll do that. Okay, here we go. This is a 1020 tray that does not have any holes in it. And basically what I do is I just lay this on top of the seeds. Um, like so, fits into the tray. And then what's gonna happen is as the seeds start to germinate and sprout, they're actually gonna push this 1020, 20, ugh, 1020 tray up. Uh, and when that happens, you know, then you'll be able to see it like, okay, well, it's time to get these guys under the light. Uh, so that's basically all there is to it. The one thing you can do uh, also is you can stack the trays. Um, so I've stacked two or three high, uh, so I'm not like putting one 1020 tray on each individual one, you know, I'll stack say three trays up and put this this 1020 tray on the top of the highest stack. Uh, and believe it or not, it was just amazing to me how those sprites or sprouts can like push up the weight of the trays above them. It's pretty incredible. And that weight also helps their them drive their roots down, uh, helps them establish uh, the plant as well. Uh, so that's pretty much about it. And then uh, after that. Uh, we're gonna put it in you know, a cool dark area to germinate. Uh, and once you kind of see the sprouts starting to come up and, and they're yellow, um, you know that they need light so they can start to photosynthesize. Then I uncover them and put them up under the lights and anywhere from a week to 10 days, uh, they're pretty much ready to harvest. Okay, so your microgreens are growing. You got them in the trays, you're germinating. Now what do you do? Day to day, how do you keep them going? Well, here's what I do. Every morning and evening, uh, I give them a little water with our handy dandy spray bottle. So that basically just looks like spraying water all the way around. Like so. And you want to do that again so they're not in standing water, but nice and damp. So I've been doing that about twice a day. I'll do it in the morning and then in the evening and uh, just keep them going that way. Uh, until they're ready to go under the lights. Hello. This is when you want to put the seedlings under the light. You, this, put them under a cover to this under the light. See how it's really, really light green, almost yellow? Well, when you put them under the light, they get really green. And before you even know it, that tray of seeds is going to look beautiful just like this. <laughs>